Tom Holland and the Stolen Maraca. It was a Saturday morning, and Tom Holland was only an hour into his daily nap when he got up to check his food bowl. However, something caught his eye. Where is my woven maraca? He searches his cage, litter box, and hides, but there is no luck. It was devastating. So Tom files a police report for the missing toy. An hour later, the toy is found down the block by local authorities. It is collected with saliva samples. The police were able to identify four suspects from the saliva sample on this toy. Suspect 1, Billy Eyelash, the neighbor. Suspect 2, Roxy, the sock stealer. Suspect 3, Indiana Bones, daughter of Roxy. And suspect 4, Abby Normal, escape artist. DNA samples were taken from each of the suspects and sent to the lab where they will use gel electrophoresis to compare the saliva DNA found on the toy to each of the suspects. Let's check it out. There are two VNTR loci on two different gels. Locus 1 is on the right and Locus 2 is on the left. Let's start with the first locus. To compare DNA, we are going to compare the top band of saliva with everyone else's bands. As you can see, both suspect 1 and suspect 3 match with this band. Now we must go further and look at the bottom band for saliva. Here, suspect 1, 2, and 3 all have this band in common, but only 1 and 3 share both the top and bottom bands. So they are potential suspects, and we will need to see who matches at locus 2 to find out who did it. At locus 1, suspect 4 does not match any bands with saliva, so we know they did not do it. Suspect 2 only shares one band with saliva, but they have different top bands. It has to be a complete match, so suspect 2 is not the one who did it. Now we must look at locus 2 to figure out whether suspect 1 or suspect 3 is the culprit. So, by comparing the top band of saliva, we see that suspect 1, 3, and 4 all have the same band. By looking at the second saliva band, we will find out more information. The suspects that share the bottom band are suspects 2, 3, and 4. So for locus 2, suspects 3 and 4 share both bands with the saliva. So since both suspect 1 and 2 only share one band with saliva at locus 2, they are not the ones who stole Tom's toy. Now, looking at both loci together, you can see that suspect 4 does not match at loci 1, so Abby Normal did not do it. Suspect 1 only matched at loci 1, but not at 2 so Billy Eyelash should not do it. Suspect 2 only had one band match at each loci, but you need both to match. Roxy did not do it. Suspect 3 matched perfectly at both loci. Indiana Bones is guilty. Upon hearing this news, Roxy was so disappointed. She was unsure if Indiana Bones was even her daughter. We went back to the gels to check this out. So as we know, Roxy is suspect 2 and Indiana Bones is suspect 3. If we first look at loci 1, you can see that they both have the same bottom band. To be a parent, you must have at least one band in common at both loci. So let's look at loci 2. As you can see here, they have one band in common. It is assumed that suspect's three other band came from the father. Roxy was full of disappointment upon finding out that she actually is her daughter, but was glad that Tom's toy has been returned and everyone was safe. She would make sure to teach her daughter to never do it again. The end.